let's simplify this conversation and let me explain to you what your current conception of reality is. The conception which gets you confused about what perception is. So, number one, what you believe is that there is an objective external material world and that this world exists independently of you. Right? That's what 99.9% .9 of people believe. Number two, is that there are two kinds of objects in this world. There are dumb objects like rocks, cars, buildings, and planets. And then there are sentient creatures like humans, cats, dogs, and apes. Number three, you believe that these sentient objects, sentient creatures, that they perceive the external world. And that every creature has this perceptual field or bubble that is their perception of the external world. Number five, you believe that you were born into the world as one of these biological sentient creatures. You believe that that's what you are. And number six, you believe that the perceptual field that you have as one of these creatures is inside of the brain or is produced by the brain, which is itself a dumb object, sort of like a rock, which exists as part of the external world. And you would say, well, we don't know exactly how this dumb object called a brain can produce this perceptual bubble field, but nevertheless, obviously it does, because here it is. So that's the conventional model. This is the sort of scientific, materialistic model that everybody follows. Even religious people still basically buy into this model. So what I realized during my meditation retreat is that all of this is an illusion created by the ego. That's not actually how it works. Here's how it actually works. Number one, there is no objective external material world. Only one thing exists in all of existence, and that is one universal field of consciousness. That's what everything you've ever interacted with has been, is this one universal field of consciousness. Number two, you did not come into existence as an object, not as a dumb object, nor as one of these sentient creatures. That's an illusion. Actually, you were born as an idea. Follow me here. This is very uh, mind warping. You're not an object. You're an idea. You, right there, that thing that thinks it's a physical object, you're actually an idea. Now you'll say, Leo, but no, I'm a physical object. I can't be an idea. That's silly. How could I be an idea when look at, look, I'm physical. Leo, I'm physical. Yeah, that's the idea that you're a physical object. You're not actually a physical object. You're the idea that you're a physical object. You following this? It gets a little weirder still. Number three, this idea of you, when it spawned into being, into existence, it took ownership of this field of consciousness that exists and misinterpreted it as its own perceptions. And here we are. So you are sitting here right now, listening to me, and you find yourself in this bubble. And you believe that this bubble is yours. You believe that it's you. You actually believe that this is comprising your life. Like if this bubble was extinguished, that's what you imagine death is, right? Is the ending of this bubble, the cessation of this bubble. Lights out, the bubble is gone. And what you imagine your birth was, was the instantiation of this bubble. And what I'm telling you is that that's not the case. What actually happened is that there was this field, this field stretches out to infinity. And then one day this field had an idea. And the idea was that, oh, 
this field is mine and this is my life. And so what you did is you've actually constructed the ego when it came into existence. It constructed out of this field, this sense of this is me, this sense of selfhood, and it took ownership of it. And then it convinced itself that, well, if this is me and this is my life and this is what's happening, then I must be perceiving some external world out there behind the scene somewhere. And this is these are my perceptions of that external world behind the scene somewhere, that external objective material world, which, of course, you've never encountered because all you ever encounter is this perceptual bubble that you're in. And so literally your sense of selfhood has distorted this non-personal field and has made it personal for you and you've actually constructed your own life out of it. You've sort of carved your own life out of this giant block of stone. And you have con uh, confused it with yourself. And this is where the idea of perception comes in. But of course, there's really no such thing as perception. In the same way that when, let's say, you're a child and you're given a toy and you really are attached to this toy, you start to actually believe that this is, this is my toy. Now, of course, when you were given the toy, nothing changed about the toy. The toy before it was your toy, it was just a toy. Nobody owned it. You didn't own it. It was just an object floating around the universe. They gave it to you. You got attached to it. And now you call it my toy. Mine. It's mine. But of course, you created that. Nothing about the toy changes when you call it my toy. Except it is significant to realize that this toy is not really mine and that I'm creating the idea that it's mine. You see? So that's why what we're talking about here is not merely a word game. Because... It does matter if the child is deluded and really believes that he owns this toy, that ownership is some sort of objective property of the universe rather than a projection of his own mind, right? And so that's what I'm trying to get you to realize here is that this belief you have that this bubble of perception is yours, it's part of your biological uh, being, the creature that you are, that this is just like that child buying into that toy. So this, this sort of co-opting of this field of consciousness by your ego happened so seamlessly that you just took it as a physical fact. And you just completely bought into the idea that you're a biological sentient creature. And your parents reinforced this idea inside of you when you were young because, well... They also bought into this idea and they weren't very conscious and they reinforced this idea that you are a sentient creature. And they told you that other sentient creatures exist like birds and dogs and cows and cats and all of this other humans. And you just started to believe that, oh yeah, all these other things out there are also sentient creatures like me. But really what happened is that you were carved out of the universal field of consciousness like a negative sculpture. And I want to show you an image here of a negative sculpture so you understand what that looks like. You see, this rectangle, at first glance it seems like it's there, it's real, and it exists. But that's only because of how it's been carved out by all the surrounding material. And so that's what you are. You are not an object that came into existence Rather, you are the whole that was sort of carved out of this field of consciousness. You see? And so, what you believe death is, is the dissolution of this structure which will break apart this rectangle, if, if you're the rectangle in this analogy. See? But that rectangle isn't really real. It's just like a negative space. And so that's what you are. You are just sort of like a negative space within this bubble of what we're calling perception. 